Imagine what's possible when learning doesn't get in the way of life. At Capella University, our game-changing FlexPath learning format lets you set your own deadlines so you can learn at a time and pace that works for you. It's an education you can tailor to your schedule. That means you don't have to put your life on hold to pursue your professional goals. Instead, enjoy learning your way and earn your degree without missing a beat. A different future is closer than you think with Capella University. Learn more at capella.edu. Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, World's Finest Wednesday! Welcome into another World's Finest Wednesday edition of Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I'm Zach, joined as always by the masterful miser of mayhem. Oh my god. Mr. Mike. So that means I keep mayhem at bay? Or... You you hide from mayhem? I hide from mayhem? Okay. Right? Okay. If, if you're a the if you're a of miser mayhem. of mayhem, yeah. no, I, that's that's good. I like that. Yeah, you like hide away from mayhem, yeah. or or at least you try to. Screw that mayhem. Yeah, get out of here, mayhem. Get out of here, mayhem. Nobody likes you. Kind of sounds like a player's name for some reason. It like does. Uh, he plays for the uh, New York Mets. Yeah, New York, New York baseball Mets, who are uh, in the a- 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 AL NLCS currently. I are think. they? If you. Well, I mean, they've advanced so who's by the time be? you listen to. We don't know by the time we're recording this. We're oh, recording okay. this early. But yeah. it'll be either Team A or Team B. And oh, it, I love it's, Team it's, B. It's either the Dodgers or Padres. I know oh, you okay. turned in for baseball news. Dodgers, anyway. Padres, and Mets? Or it'll be one of those two and the Mets? Yeah. And then on the other side, it's the Yankees and... Uh, whoever wins between the Tigers and Indians. Oh, okay. All right. We just dated this show if you're a sports That's person. Right. But yeah, it's whatever. Anyway, uh, World's Finest Wednesday. What we have is another fantastic story from the Silver Age of DC, it seems to be, because there's so many great stories like this in the World's Finest stories from back in the day. This one from May of 1955, mm. uh, issue number 76, when Gotham City challenged Metropolis, Mike, is our okay. story today. Before we get into our tale, I want to remind you that, obviously, every Wednesday we have a look at some of these Silver Age shenanigans that we dive into with our World's Finest Wednesday. But also, on Mondays is our regular show. Uh, this last week, we decided to, while we were uh, having a Halloween theme through the month, uh, the title is a little bit different, but we still kept a Halloween theme. Uh, we covered Absolute Batman. Um, and Absolute. also, a look at a couple just... Fun uh, 50s horror tales to still keep it Halloween related. Yeah, I'm still a little and scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. You're you're still a little scared. Eek. Um, <laughs> But so go back and check those out. Uh, as uh, we continue that, we will have Swamp Thing. I promise you guys. Swamp y'all thing. voted on it. We're going to get it done b- by the end of the month. Um, I just haven't had time to sit there and fully read it and prepare it and kind of note it out. But we will get to it. So our story today is well, Alan Moore, right? Finest. It is. Yeah, so it's pretty dense. Is what yeah, you, sometimes what you're I saying. feel like it is. Like I have to be prepared, yeah. not because it's not good, but I feel like I have I to be it. in the right mindset yeah. to make sure I digest it fully. And I just, we've been really busy, you can't so have I haven't pizza, been in that mindset. You can't have pizza every night, you know? Well, um, pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When mm-hmm. pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. That's a lie. But I, I understand it's an advertising ploy. Do you think we could get bagel bites to sponsor? I don't, well, them? I think I think not we could, now. After you said just it's go a buy lie. some bagel bites, but I don't know about a sponsorship. You want some um, bros, are they still a thing? Bagel bites? Is there still bagel bites? Yeah. I'm, I mean, hey, when was the last time you ate a bagel bite? It's been a while. Yeah, but uh, I can't remember ever liking them. I always I feel chewy. like I like them more. Yeah, I very feel like chewy. I like them more when I was a kid. They are think, very chewy. I think I would have liked pizza crackers. Better it shows than that they're bagels. still around. Yeah. So okay, I All do right. like the I do like the uh, uh, the 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 pizza. What what are the little uh, little packets of pizza? What are they? <laughs> they're like the, the little packets of pizza. Well, they're little edible packets. Is what they are when you when you bite into them. They squirt pizza in your mouth. 
Hot Pockets? Hot, no, the smaller ones. The Pizza Pockets. Pizza, is it Pizza Pockets? I mean, I've always called them Pizza Pockets. It's like little snack pockets or whatever, right? You can get the cheese. You can get the pepperoni. You can get the I always. Uh, yeah, you want them with some caviar. kind of meat. You want them with pepperoni. You want them with some yeah. kind of meat. But, yeah, Pizza Pockets. Okay. T- no, that, like the Totino's. The yeah, the Totino's like little Pizza okay. Pockets. They're so like they little started, squares that burn yeah. your mouth. Yeah. They started making the ones for breakfast. Have you seen those? Like the tiny ones? Yeah, the little tiny ones, but they have like chorizo and egg in them or something. Okay, have you had them? I bought a box of them. Yeah. I had them for breakfast, and and both times I ate them, they made me sick. Lovely. So don't buy those, guys. So get the breakfast ones. Stick to the pizza ones. I thought, well, it's just me. And then I ate them the second time, and I was like, nope, it's the pizza pockets. It's the pizza pockets. Yeah. You want to know who's never said it's the pizza pockets? Uh, Who? Superman. Batman. (laughs) Batman, Superman. Batman, I feel Robin. like Batman has said it before. It's the pizza pocket. Oh, it's a pizza pocket. You ever just Robin. come across random, random like Reddit comments, and you follow just the, <laughs> or not comments, but like posts, and you just sure. follow the trail of comments underneath it. Oh, absolutely. It. Yeah. I saw one on. Uh, spoiler alert! There's some comic book ones that I follow. Uh, you know. Wow. What? Uh, but what was Batman related? And it was somebody posted like, "My brother says Batman canonically doesn't eat vegetables," and then it was just a list of people like bringing up, "Well, he ate this one time," and this comic says that he ate this, and it was just funny to think. Pizza pockets were not brought up though, which is why I. Uh, What's crazy is somebody is is putting together a spreadsheet of oh, Batman's daily intake. Well, no, I wasn't one person; it was multiple people. Well, no, I get that. I'm just like, saying, but somebody's got to start that. If they haven't. Well, I'm no, I'm saying some person out there had to be the first one to go, you know, it might be interesting is let's let's look at Batman's eating habits and I'll put it all in a spreadsheet. But then somebody should do that with his work. Why is there not like a Batman like you know, get ripped like Batman book? There probably get is. ripped by Batman book. Like I eat, like that. Eat, eat like Batman, you know, work out like Batman. So it's like it's like going paleo, but you're going Batman. Yeah. Oh, Oh no! Like that. Uh, can I have my burger with no cheese, please? Uh-huh. And a lettuce instead of the bun. Oh, what diet are you on? I'm being Batman. I'm Batman diet. I, 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 I'm Batman diet. I'm Batman diet. Yep. That's how uh, I say it. I'm Batman diet. All right. Let's go ahead and dive back into world's this world's finest. Yum. Um, <laughs> well, it sounds time. like the Red Robin when you do it that. It is. It's the Red Robin. So Red Robin. this is um. when Gotham City challenged Metropolis. Okay. Don't pay attention to the. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, make it full screen for uh, you, Mike. Just get it big here so I can see what the hell's going on. Yeah, there look at. Go. There you go. So our panel here is a lie to start off because, like, the guy's like, Superman is trying to steal our landmark. Like, you got to stop him, Batman, from steal stealing. Steal our landmark? Yeah. He's like, he's trying what to steal Gotham mean? City's greatest attraction. Uh, our ice hockey rink. I don't know. That's what, what is their greatest, greatest attraction? Does it say? No. Um, oh, okay. It's oh, it's a convention hall. Sorry, <laughs> it does say back there. <laughs> convention. What hall. What kind of city do you live in where the greatest attraction is a convention hall? I uh, you live in a very business forward city. Oh, okay, fair mm-hmm. enough. Well, the story is um, that doesn't involve that at all. So that was yeah. just a throw off. Instead, sure. we will start. Wait, our that story. has nothing to do with the story. Not really. Kind oh, of, neat. but not really. Okay. I mean, you'll see how it ties into part of the story at the end. Okay. Sure. Um, I'm all ears. So. Here and here. That's true. All four of them. So we start in Gotham City where there's some people trying to get away using a helicopter. Heliocopter. Right. And so as the crooks try to get away on the helicopter, they're like, ha, ah, there'll be no match for like Batman and Robin. But the bat signals up in the sky, and neither Batman nor Robin respond to it. Superman responds instead. Superman stops the blade. He on the grabs. Helicopter? Here's what he does. <laughs> what the, the the crooks say. Well, he does. But it says he's holding the rotor blades, causing the fuselage uh. to spill and spin instead. <laughs> So Superman's just in the sky holding the helicopter blades, and the part of the helicopter is just like. <laughs> well, it's like uh, it, and, and they I'm, have to be so deathly sick. I, would I love think. the word. I love the use of the word fuselage, because most of these crooks that you see in these in these uh, uh, comic books are all like, "Yeah, see, we're gonna take you to the river, see, and we're gonna drop you in with the fishes, see." Now it's like, oh my lord, he has a hold of the fuselage. <laughs> and this is in the 50s. Like, we, yeah. it's not that far yeah. removed, uh, uh-huh. far removed from all of the uh, 
Yeah, the hey, look here. That's what see? I'm saying. You're yeah. not that far from like the the you know. I was ah, we're gonna we're you. gonna have you sleep with the fishes. See? I just wanted to interrupt your point to agree with you, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So me why and, was me and Mrs. Wiggles ooh, agree? Why was Superman in Gotham City then and responding to the call instead of Batman? I have never what? understood why there's a Gotham and a Metropolis. I, I think there well, are one big do you city remember that they that, all live in. That Superman w- uh, originally started out in Cleveland. Yeah, I do remember that. Because uh, oh, Just Simon the same, and Schuster created the same War from Cleveland. It, does it? No, but I mean, Cleveland. Superman's going to save Cleveland. Cleveland is the birthplace of Superman, essentially. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, it's Krypton and he landed there. But mm-hmm. um, so I'm sitting here twirling this. Cleveland's kind of like Krypton, though. In what? It's green. It's exploded several times. I mean, people shot out of it hasn't the since the nineties, at least though. Oh, okay. Right? I don't know. Drew Carey was there. He was making it. shit up. I don't don't know. you love everybody that's you know loves the fact Jim Carey's from Cleveland? Is Drew, that what you said? With a D, Mr. Price is right. Oh, himself. Drew, Drew Carey. Carey. Yes. Anyway. Yes, because Cleveland rocks. Yeah. Ohio. <laughs> uh, no, that's Wisconsin. Um, that's the I was yelling out. That's the end of uh, that '70s show where they just yell out Wisconsin. Oh yeah, they do. We yell out Wisconsin. Or no, maybe Drew Carey did yell out Ohio at the end of. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's get back on track. Does he not creep you out now, though? I honestly have not seen him in a while. We well, host the Price is Right. Yeah, every I, I knew that, day. but I haven't. I haven't watched and he's it. Skinny. Still. And Hold on, tell me about this. Every single day, he's huh? skinny and he has yeah. like a weird little stubble beard now. He's like Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill looks weird to me now that he's skinny. Okay, that's same kind of deal mean. with Drew Carey. He just looks weird to me. I don't know. I think it's just not like the it's the like guy you remember, and so you question. Yeah, that. yeah. It's like um, uh, Samson with the hair. You know, they lose their baby fat. Well, they're not funny anymore. Oh, okay. And Samson lost his hair, and he wasn't strong. He wasn't strong anymore. anymore. Yeah. All right, so I need to stay a little portly. Go if Superman. I want people to yeah. laugh at me. Yeah, if got you it. would, that'd be great. Good to remember. So, why was Superman in Gotham? I got to get us back on the rail somehow. Convention. Uh, he's still at the convention center, Batman. Well, he was um, at the convention center. Well, let's see. It's because now in Metropolis, mm-hmm. as crooks are trying to, I love this pan or this page here. Uh, they hear on the news that Superman's stopped some crooks over in Gotham, which means, hey, there's nobody here in Metropolis. And Metropolis, mm. now is the time for us to go ahead and I, pull our scheme. What is their scheme, Mike? It is to steal the diamonds off of a figure skater. There you go. Right? Perfect. Perfect they're, crime. They're going to this ice show, and while they're out there skating... They decide to just jump out on the ice with guns in hand to go rob the jewels off of her right in the middle of everybody. This is where Tanya Harding got her set up. She From read this world's finest read this comic book, and she was like, you know, if I just had a pipe. Yeah, and Nancy Kerrigan just didn't have the diamonds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, well, the joke's on them because Batman and Robin were dressed up, I guess, one as a polar bear and the other as whatever the dress dude what is the back hell? there. What what? Yeah. And so they're like, with Superman gone, we were sure that some of you thieves would try to, to steal these diamonds. So we did, uh, decided to join the ballet. It's an ice well, ballet is what they're calling it, It's an ice ballet, and one of them's dressed like a polar bear? Yeah, you see right there, it's a polar bear. <laughs> and it's like some dude with like a top hat, and their dress is both of them. <laughs> okay, um, great. But yeah, they Loving skate across this. the ice, and they just punch people out. Yeah. And then the next issue of the Daily Planet talks about how Superman and Batman have exchanged places in the Great Contest. Do you want to know what the Great Contest is, Mike? What is the Great Contest? The Great Contest sounds is, like something Hitler would have come up with. <laughs> great Contest. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a great name. The Great Contest. Uh, both cities want to host the World Electronics Convention. Oh. Can you but, even imagine how big that is for a city? In 1955? Oh, transistors, tubes. Antennas. Things that go zzz, zzz, all of that stuff. So much stuff. Oh, my gosh. Um, But they both talk about how, like, World's each, Fair, screw that. We want the Electronics Convention. World Electronics Convention. Yeah, the world. Yeah. Electronics the, Convention. The WEC for people what who are, are in the know. What are you doing in Afghanistan to get... Uh, uh, to power your light bulbs. Well, let me tell you. 
What are you doing that? overseas to to make sure that your batteries last longer? Well, let me tell you. See, I mean, it's it's just so important to you today's go life. You want to go try to explore Antarctica? We got you. That's it. That's it. We got it. We got a backpack Electronics full of shit for, for you to take with you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, each mayor presents their case to the convention committee. <laughs> And then they they do, and they have like, <laughs> hey, Metropolis is like, we have a great convention hall, and uh, we have Superman to guard all of those valuables. There, there you go, all those valuable z- z- things. And Gotham, the mayor is like, hey, we also have a great convention hall, and we have Robin, our Batman, and Robin to give you all the protection you need. Well, Two for the price of one. That's right. Well, on the uh, it says so on that day, Superman and Batman. Fast friends who alone know each other's secret identities mm, met again. I bet they do. Um, the head of the convention decides that, hey, uh, they can't decide where it's between the cities. So they're going to let their two champions decide of where the convention should be held. Okay, but, so Superman and Batman have to play like rock, paper, scissors to figure out where the World Electronics Convention goes? Yes. Nice. So... To make it a fair fight, what they decide, or a fair fight, to make mm-hmm. it fair, mm-hmm. what they decide to do is Superman is going to patrol Gotham. Okay. And it, it's essentially who can perform the most civic duties in like 24 hours. Okay. Wow. Batman's going to patrol Gotham, and Batman, I'm sorry, Superman's going to patrol Gotham, and Batman and Robin are going to patrol Metropolis to mm-hmm. make it fair then. Right. I guess I don't know how that makes it fair. While, like, Batman and Robin are getting ready, like, Batman's very much so just like, hey, we can't let Superman win at all costs. Like, uh, it's, 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 again, World Electronics Convention. I mean, uh, you don't really need to say much more. I mean, it's, it's, a, this is serious business. Yeah, there's a part where, hold on, I don't have the page. I got to pull it up on my computer here. Real if quick. it were equivalent to things today, uh, World Electronics Convention was big. You said this was like fifty five. This is May like of nineteen fifty five. Okay, so if we were if we were looking at something equally as big today, I mean, I would say um, Amway Convention. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know how big those are. Um, Am- uh, <laughs> maybe uh, World uh, Shoe Repair Convention. Mm-hmm. Things like that. You know, I mean, things that. Big swaths of business we're talking here, right? Right. Big, hot swaths right. of business. Big, hot, sticky swaths of business. I don't like that you called it big, hot, sticky big, swaths. Big, hot, sticky we're gonna... swaths of moist business. For some reason, I don't have the next page in You're my fine. PDF here, it's but okay. I just, I'm just i good where we are now. So, Batman and Robin show up at the Daily Planet where, mm. guess what? Did you know that there's an S signal for Superman? No. There is. I knew there's a Spider-Man one that he shoots out of his dune buggy. Out of his dune buggy. (laughs) But this isn't, you see the S up there? Oh, yeah. I'll come back to explain that in a second, but I wanted to show you the S clip. So what happens is Batman and Robin show up. It's atop the Daily Planet, and they show up there. there. It leaves a real big void (laughs) or an S hole. Um. And so Batman or Lois Lane is showing Batman and Robin the signal and Batman's like, all right, that'll be cool. But maybe we can like turn it so it looks like a B right now. Like he what? honestly, he tells her. Yeah, he goes, when you turn an S I'll on its side, it, it doesn't look I'll like a B. It. Well, no, he goes, I'll change it temporarily. I wasn't I was just adding that part. He goes, I'll change it temporarily into a B signal. Can't afford to miss a trick in this contest, you know. So he's like, Robin, I might forget that we're in Metropolis and see that Superman signal and be like, hmm, man, Superman should show up and fight. No, that's for me. I can't have that slip up, so (laughs) I'm going to change it to a B signal. (laughs) Um, And then he goes off, and Batman is just seen, like, talking and, like, hush-hush with one of the main guys from the convention. Mm -hmm. And so Lois is a little leery that Batman, like, he's really... Oh, we got Lois involved. Yeah, well, she showed them the S signal at first, but then she's like, Mm -hmm. Batman's really hard up on wanting to beat Superman for Mm -hmm. some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, And then it shows us, it takes us back to the Batcave, where it seems like Superman, or Batman has let Superman stay in the Batcave and fight out of there while he's Mm -hmm. in Gotham. Mm -hmm. But Batman notices there's a giant crack in the wall there. Superman's couch surfing. And decides to fix the crack 
in the rock there because it could implode and crumble into the bat cave. Superman is fixing the crack in the bat cave. Is that yeah, what you just while said? he's there, like okay. a, an alert sure. goes off that a potential like landslide could happen, or it could crumble in there. So he decides to fix it while he's there. Okay. Okay. Great. Good tenant. It comes up later. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it does. But it's just Superman by himself. So thanks, then, Superman, for fixing my crack. <laughs> uh superman notices that there's like an electrical line um well yeah it's the big electronics convention in the street i guess it's more like a gas line um mm. that's starting to leak and flames are starting to come out so he rips it out it's of the big gas convention that comes yeah, the next out of the street and he goes and he kind of like flings it up in the sky to get it away from everybody and he goes to look at the scoreboard to notice that it's tied two to two between he and Batman of the good deeds they have done. They're running a friggin' scoreboard. But they're running, yeah, to keep deeds. track to keep track of it. The score of exploits. And about that time, you see him carrying up the number three because Batman's just had another exploit. Mm. What was that exploit? Well, somebody decided to steal a tank from the local armory. And okay. Batman, obviously not able to stop a tank, instead rips off an electrical cable uses it to swing down, not the open part. He's safe enough away from the open, exposed area of the wire. Sure. And just exposes or touches the exposed wire to the tank, which shocks everybody in the tank out of there, out of the tank. It doesn't right? hurt them. It just shocks them out of the tank. It shocks them out of the yeah, tank. Yeah, like, I ah! can't stay in the tank anymore. <laughs> exactly. It's so shocky. Exactly. Yeah. So then he stops the crooks there, which is okay. a, a good deed. Great idea. But then Lois Couldn't is like. could you just fill it with water or something? I, I, I mean, wouldn't that be the same thing? I, they're not Superman. It's Batman oh, and Rob. Where okay. are they going to like right. quickly get all this water at? Where are they going to quickly get this electrical cable? They're he throwing ripped it out of a building. But you understand what I'm down. saying? I mean, yeah, come on. It's, 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 it's more. Well, how work. are they going to get him to open up to spill water in there? I don't know. All right. I don't know, man. Fine, fine. Get the Batcopter. Lois and a brings up to. Big Lo- bat bucket. A bat bucket. Uh, Lois brings up to Batman like hey like all the damage that they caused here yeah. with all like the cars that have been like run over and kind of smushed like Superman would have cleaned that up too like you've created a mess here Lois seems Metropolis. like she's just she's just poking the bear so Batman goes you're right and he takes the tank and essentially ties all the cars to the tank to move them over to the side oh, of the perfect. road out of the Good way job. so she inadvertently gave Batman a second point for another civic duty for cleaning up after him himself there you go uh, then again, Batman is seen talking to the head of the, the doctor from that's going to be presenting at the convention. And Lois is like, I wait, swear wait, 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 something's the up. The doctor that's presenting at the electronics convention? He, he's related. Like he has, yeah, he's presenting his big machine at the electronics convention. <laughs> his big machine. Well, Lois yeah, just, is. Lois thinks like something has to be up there with Batman. Like he really wants to beat Superman at all costs. He's meeting in secrecy with this guy. Like, there has to be yeah. something there. Yeah. Robin accidentally walks in on the meeting and is like, oh, hey, guys, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt because uh, he overhears that, like, this could end Superman's career. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize this was a pants optional meeting. <laughs> but he overhears them talking about how this could end Superman's career. What is it that could end Superman's career, you ask? Well, the doctor's machine, whenever he runs it, it emits uh, kryptonite rays. Oh, and they're afraid that w- if Superman's close enough to it, it could weaken him and like cause him to crack. Like you know, it could kill him. What does it actually do? I, they don't really tell you what okay. the machine does, okay. but it emits right. kryptonite rays when okay. it does it. All right, good enough. That's why Batman is so hard up on winning this contest mm. because he wants to make sure his buddy Superman's not going to get hurt by the rays. Got it. Got it. But he didn't want like if they hold it in metropolis and it happens and crooks hear about it emitting kryptonite rays Mm -hmm. they're going to use that time to be able to run all the crimes they want to sure not that you can't like prepare for this in any other way but no you can't so batman has to win so superman doesn't get hurt by this you following oh perfect logic yeah okay so i was just making sure i got it yeah well, it's tied four to four. Oh, it's a nail biter. Um, you want to know how Superman got those two points? How's that? Well, there's a giant storm that he create. He turns himself into like a giant electrical pole, like or a lightning rod. Sorry, he turns himself into a lightning rod. Like he takes a cord up or a wire up, and lightning strikes it, but it doesn't strike anything or anybody down in Gotham. And then also, 
my favorite, a group of women tell Superman, uh, hey, could you build a road out to Rock Mountain where we're carving a Gotham City Founders Memorial? Rock Mountain. But could you just build a road out there to Rock mm-hmm. Mountain for us? Because mm-hmm. we're building this carving to honor like the Gotham City Founders. And Superman's, nah, I'll do you one better. He goes and he... F- picks up the mountain from out where it was sure he does. flies it to where in gotham there's just a city wasteland by the side of the city that nothing's going on there dumps it there and then punches the founders faces into the rock Ooh, yeah superman basically makes his the own superman got artistic he did superman makes his own um what is it up in uh, the dakotas or the south dakota it's the uh the the mount hill rushmore of, hill of presidents faces yes aka mount rushmore mm-hmm. but he just punches it into that and they're like oh thank you uh superman and there's that's what been times, it for. there's been times in my life that i wish i could punch something into existence mm-hmm. you want to know how batman ends up winning this contest because batman oh, does man, win five it. to four sorry well, he notices there's a sign there that they're trying to raise money for the hospital fund. They need a hundred thousand dollars. They've only raised twenty thousand. There's, there's a sign there that says "No punch in the rock." <laughs> so Batman and Robin just decide to hold like a trapeze show in front of everybody down there to raise money. Trapeze show, you say? It says, well, I don't know what else to call it, but they're like swinging from high wires yep. there above the city. You they're see? taking Dick Grayson's former life and turning it into a, a money-making opportunity. Yep, and they raised enough money. They raised $80,000 $80, thousand dollars from swinging around in the sky. <laughs> and that was enough for him to win. Uh-huh. Uh, and so they're like, all right, hey. Well, now, wait a minute. So they raised the money to fix the crippled people is that the what you hospital said? it was for oh, the, the hospital. hospital okay well it includes crippled people so batman wins five to four but they saved the the raise the money for the hospital yeah what were they doing this for to begin with the civic the big duty. electronics convention yeah but they're doing how many like civic which is duties. which though but they were doing how many civic duties they could perform in 24 hours that was the yeah. contest uh it's, it's, it's so very convoluted I don't them like fundraising counted as yeah. a civic duty i don't remember christopher nolan covering any of this he didn't so um Batman is named the winner, and Lois is still sore about this. Because mm. when Superman flies back to Metropolis and it's just like, yep, mm. Batman won, you know, all fair and square, she essentially tells him, That's like, my boyfriend. She asks him, wasn't there something else you did that you can think of? Like, I mean, there's got to be something else that you did that would tie it up at least. And he's like, you know, I did repair the Batcave. And she's like, that's a civic duty because it protects Batman and Robin. Go tell them. Go tell them now. So now it's 5-5? Five, five? So now it's 5-5. Five, five. So Superman flies Poor electronics back. electronics people. They don't even know where they're going to have their convention. Yeah. Superman, How do you plan? Well, Superman's like, it's our, well, the convention's already going on. Where? In Gotham. Because oh. Batman won. What, like it started immediately? I guess, yeah. It was like, okay, you win. All right, how about them electronics, guys? <laughs> they just started it. <laughs> it was the intro into the convention. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So Superman flies. They were like, to- God, I hope Superman doesn't win. We already got all our <laughs> shit set up. It's going to be a lot of work, pal. Uh, all right, guys, we're moving to Metropolis. Oh, my God, the banners. He stopped a robbery right in the, that last you know, Ugh. 30 seconds. All right. Who now, came up with this? So Superman <laughs> flies back. Why is to, this the way we decide things? I don't know. So Superman flies back to essentially spoil Batman's fun because Lois wants uh-huh. him to. Yeah. But as he gets close, he starts to lose his power. And they notice, oh, Batman and Robin notice it's it. It's that machine. And they use the tarp to catch him. But he's able to regain his strength right before he lands. Yeah. And Because of the power of the sun. And he's like, well, what's going on here? Well, apparently the generator for the power was too great for the uh, doctor's machine. Mm. And so that's why it kind of wore off as Superman came close. But there was an official recount. So the scope of the two champions being tied will hold half of the convention sessions in Gotham City and half in Metropolis. you got to be friggin' kidding me. And Superman says, and I'll make it easy to shift from city to city. How is he going to do that? He's essentially going to, as Robin says, the fast way. He just moves the whole convention hall with everyone in it. And Batman goes, there's no one like Superman. People just rolling around on the floors and shit's going everywhere. 
The building's <laughs> cracking in half. And Superman just flies him to Metropolis and just flies it back to Gotham. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The convention's probably at least a week long. Strap right? in, Jeff. <laughs> the convention's at least like a week yeah. long, right? So is there's just a giant empty lot where the convention center mm-hmm. was for mm-hmm. those three days it's yeah. in Metropolis. Yeah. And where are they putting it, Metropolis? Way away from everything where there's probably no road to get there? Maybe they have a uh, – there's just an empty field. Like, they why don't – but you know why he had to do that? Why? Because next week, Gotham is hosting the uh, Adult Video Awards. Yeah. And so they have to have that place back. They're definitely not having it at Metropolis. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. That goes against the American way. And then, oh, so it just closes out. So Batman said there's nobody like Superman. And then it says, and at Metropolis... Superman dropping off the convention center walks over to Lois and goes dropping it off. And there's no one like Batman. He's a real friend. To Lois replies, Oh, I'll never understand men. The end. Gross. Yep. So there you go. That was this. And then she and then she went out to buy a swimsuit and when she saw it she went, Ack like like Kathy. You know what I'm talking about, Kathy? She looked like Kathy. Kathy. But she was still in the new I think they finally ended. Ack! Yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> so there you go. Well, you That's asked me to this, peek the mic a couple of times. That's uh, this week's well, that was World's great. Finest Wednesday when yeah. Gotham City battled Metropolis. But don't you agree, like, if they were holding the Adult Video Awards, that it's gonna be in Gotham, they would yeah. definitely be in Gotham, right? 100%. Because Gotham is way grittier yes. and gross. Yes. Right? The Penguin would be there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, you know, trying to f- fill up whoever the latest Starlet like Gotham, from Gotham here, is. Okay, here's how it is. Gotham, to me... It's kind of like, think like Baltimore mm-hmm. in The Wire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Metropolis is more like. Stockholm. No. <laughs> no, because like stuff happens, but it's yeah. more like, I don't know, like what they like to portray happens in bigger cities, but not like yeah. anything too crazy. I can't think of a good. Uh, it's not really New York. No. Because some gross stuff like a happens Chicago, in Chicago, maybe? Maybe Chicago, maybe, yeah. Downtown Minneapolis. Or is Metropolis oddly like a Dallas? Yeah, could be. Yeah, it very well could be. I, I mean, there is a downtown, a there's a thriving downtown uh, business yeah. environment. Yeah. Um, uh, it seems to me that there are a lot of things kind of spread out. Yeah. Superman does have to fly from place to place. That's true. It's a more spread out. Well, that's um, why I've always wondered if Metropolis, like it's big enough to obviously have a newspaper tower that is that tall. I've mm-hmm. never understood. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get that that's how papers yeah. were when they ruled the world kind of thing. But um, yeah, well, it's kind of like the uh, the the big Pegasus in they Dallas. They have pro sports teams, so they got to be pretty it's true. big. Does Gotham? Gotham has pro sports teams. Yeah, the Gotham Blades are the hockey team. There you well, go. Well, I just remember children. the Gotham uh, Gotham Knights are the football Knights. team. Yeah, because the football field fell apart in uh, one of the Batman. Movies. I don't know if they're the Knights. Remember how they were that. blowing it up underneath it? Yeah, under Heinz Ward. Bane was. Yeah. Yeah. Bane's a lot cooler in comics than he is even in that movie. I yeah, so. Bane's a tough one. He uh, is. Because Bane, Bane to me is a James Bond villain. You know, he's one of those guys he's where he better. I talk a lot about what I'm gonna do, that kind of thing, right? A little bit. Yeah. But I think now it's in not, comics it's different. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying in the movies, he's definitely a James Bond villain. Yeah, but I do like Tom Hardy's version better than the one. Oh that was no, in Tom the, Hardy did a great job. Batman Forever one. Yeah, or not Batman Forever. Uh, I Batman was molded Robin. by it. <laughs> I'm not. We're not going to do Bane impressions back and forth. Anyway, let us know what cities you think Gotham and Metropolis are <laughs> in real life, and which version of Bane you prefer. Yeah. You can leave it in the comments below. I'm just doing that if you're I watching. Like big on YouTube. sexy Bane, or you know, email us bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. All spelled out: B R O S F O E S A N D. I was going to say and, but A N D H E R O E S at gmail.com. As always, also check out all the other great podcasts on the Rogue Media family of podcasts. It is not bros, foes, and hoes. No, I didn't say that, Which is the way people say it a lot. I think it's because they're jealous, Mike. RogueMediaNetwork.com. They're they're jealous uh, because they ain't us. Ah, could be. Maybe. Could be. I mean, look at this. (laughs) Take it in, America. Come on. There's a... There's a... The the cloud bother likes to... Yeah, well... He's not here today, so he sucks. (laughs) Ah, 
made for uh, made for a quieter Friday though. It did make for a quieter Friday. It, anyway, we, we didn't get any don't of. Don't you the, love this just rambling at the end? Well, we we've got a guy here who does some sports, and that's who we're talking about. And he comes in every day. He oh, comes we didn't in. have to. I would like it better if we didn't give too much context. We go ahead. every day. He comes in and goes, Michael Hamilton, Zachary, blah 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 blah. And you just, it, it, after a while, it grates on you a little bit. Oh, I didn't say that. I was just, it was quieter Oh, I said general. that. Yeah. Okay. I would say that too. It's just space. a lot quieter in general. Anyway, that's a yeah. great way for us to close out the show. Oh, hey, <laughs> you know what I've started to do? And I've yeah, only done that? it twice. And here, I haven't been keeping track of it, so I can't even tell you. I know I did it on the most recent one. Yeah. But the one before that, I can't tell you when. Whenever so. we have bloopers that are funny, uh-huh. I just add them at the very end of the show that's great. after the I tag. I love that. So your Ohio State got into last week's show. What did I say about Ohio State? When you were in your Batman mask and you were trying to do a Monday Night Football impression. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Go back to the end of the episode last I week. I don't remember a it. lot of what I say. I'm sorry. You don't remember a lot of this show. That's true. All right. I don't well, remember a lot of any of the shows. <laughs> as always, thank you guys for taking the time out to listen. And until next time, stay safe, everybody. Hey, remember, America. Jolly Cow. Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.